Welcome back to Boiler House Garage. In today's video, we'll be revisiting Tesco to test another sample of their Momentum 99 Octane super unleaded petrol to see if it still remains ethanol free after nearly two years since our previous test on the channel. If so, we'll also be able to check that it still meets or exceeds its advertised octane rating of 99 RON. My apologies for this low budget introduction, I did actually have footage from the garage I got the sample from and a really witty script to go with it, but I've clearly been around these petrol fumes for too long and inadvertently overwrote it. Anyway, before I start the tests, I'd just like to give a huge thanks to everybody that's subscribed to the channel so far. That's uh, people old and new. Uh, we recently passed 2,000 subscribers. I think it was over the Christmas New Year period. Uh, currently, I, I think we're at yeah, 2,050 subscribers. Uh, yeah, so thank you very much for that. Nice slow growth uh, to the channel. And obviously, any uh, feedback or input is appreciated in the comments section. If there's anything you're not sure about on these, on any of the tests featured on the channel or this particular one, or if you've got any sort of ideas for the future or anything you'd like to see. Something I have had several uh, questions on actually is people asking to test uh, Costco petrol. Well, for starters, there's no Costco in anywhere near my sort of part of the country. Uh, I'm also not a Costco member so I believe you have to actually be a member to buy their petrols but of course uh, you're more than welcome to send a sample in which has been uh, done before on the channel we got a sample from North Wales uh, to test that so if you would like to see a, a Costco super unleaded tested then uh, by all means please send in a sample uh, just mention it in the comments and I'll sort of give you instructions and advice on how to do that I will obviously return any uh, container that you send down and, and compensate any of your costs of course and also you might have noticed that I haven't been doing uh, many fuel tests this year so far basically that's because I've had uh, all but two of my uh, fuel cans occupied with uh, some aging fuel samples let's say because I'm uh, currently conducting a petrol longevity test so basically I'm going to be testing uh, I'm basically it's 12 to 14 months the samples I've got and I'm testing uh, a mix of the E0s uh, or ethanol free uh, super unleaded that I've got I'll be doing a few tests on those uh, in the Fiesta and uh, I've got the same amount obviously in a blend of, well it's an ethanol blended petrol of course but it's there's a mix of an E2.5 sample and then two E5 samples confusingly they're all sold as E10 in this country but they've been tested and it's 5% ethanol in two of them two and a half percent in another uh, but yeah that'll be explained more on that particular video now back to the Tesco momentum uh, if you obviously you've seen this test before if you're uh, subscribed to the channel and you've uh, watched you know any number of the videos uh, if you haven't please check those out because that will explain uh, this test in slightly more detail but in short i'm just basically pouring 300 milliliters of water through 700 milliliters of the tesco momentum uh, to measure the ethanol content if any obviously if there isn't any the water line will uh, remain at 300. So like V Power Shell, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, like Shell V Power, Tesco momentum is actually quite a frothy reaction when the water goes through it. Uh, it does seem to settle a little quicker than the V Power, but of course we're going to give it five minutes just to let the line um, settle. Currently, it appears that obviously it's uh, an ethanol-free fuel, like it always has been. So, uh, but yep, yeah, we'll be back in five minutes uh, just to see the definitive result. And we're back. Uh, as suspected, the line has remained on. Let's get the light on. Don't know well, it comes across uh, on camera here, but the line is bang on 300, uh, and as expected, it is an ethanol-free petrol, uh, being E0. Now we know that we can uh, move on to the octane test uh, to see that it's going to meet or exceed 99 RON, which it's advertised to be. In previous tests, I think it was actually quite a high reading on the octane tester. I think it was reading something like 100 and, 103, maybe 102, I can't remember, but uh, bear in mind obviously the octane tester is only accurate with uh, to about two, or was it three RON, something like that. <laughs> I should know this by now really, shouldn't I? But yeah, in any case it is just to give us a, a good indication of whether the, uh, the fuel is meeting its uh, octane rating and uh, like the power is probably slightly higher than uh, what it's advertised to be. Uh, so let's find out.
Oh, and as we guessed, it was uh, showing 103 Ron. So, uh, yeah, like before, I think the Shell V Power shows at 101, 102. Uh, this stuff uh, slightly higher, but it, it it doesn't. It's nice that it's consistent that the, we're testing the same uh, brand, but obviously at a, a later time, still showing the same results that it did before. It doesn't mean that this fuel is 103 Ron. However, uh, if we take the uh, manual uh, for gospel here, then uh, it would mean that uh, Tesco momentum is actually uh, probably about 101 uh, Ron in reality. Um, but of course it exceeds 99 ron which is what we're looking for here and when we've got uh petrols which are uh, like we found with uh, shell uh, sorry so supreme synergy supreme uh, we had that spate of the uh, fuel being a lot uh, lower octane than advertised and that was uh, consistent at different uh, not only different times but also different locations and the ethanol extracted e5s that we test as well obviously that's showing a uh, lower results uh, which we've got plenty of data on so yeah the accuracy uh, is is still there it is uh, is at least good enough uh, on a uh, you know a budget uh, non-laboratory tester uh, such as this to show that the uh, fuels are of the quality they're advertised to be and in the case of uh, Tesco Momentum again it's a highly recommended uh, fuel it'd be nice to do a cost sort of analysis on this because obviously it is a, still a supermarket petrol it just happens to be in my opinion and a few others the the second best petrol in the in the country so make of that what you will but um you might you might find that obviously if you're running your car on tesco uh, momentum it's perfectly good enough a perfectly good equivalent to uh, shell v power but it's uh, a little bit cheaper uh, but good news all around uh, so yeah thanks again for all the people that have subscribed it's uh, yeah, great to see the channel go past uh, 2000 subs and certainly looking to uh, building that so if you're not uh, subscribed then yeah please do so like i say we have got some fuel longevity uh, tests uh, coming very soon because i'm actually starting the uh, to run the car on the stuff now so the, yeah, the fuel has uh, uh, aged like fine wine should we say but um yeah that will be uh, in the pipeline so yeah please subscribe if you want to be notified with uh, those videos coming out and thanks very much for watching